Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie P all day. As you can see, I'm in the kitchen. And the reason is, well, and I gotta show you too, we are in the process of doing some work in the kitchen too. These are all been ground down. You remember it was shiny like this, taking off a lot of that. We're gonna redo everything. We're redoing the cabinets. You can hear that buzzing outside. That's her out there getting some, some cabinet door sanding done. But um, I'm answering the call. I had two people so far, Mikey, Cerebral Ballsy, and Papa John from the Shredder Knife, uh, Shredder Knife channel, both have done these videos on doing ramen noodles. So, I'm going to show you my gourmet ramen noodle, one of the things I like to do. And first things first is get yourself some ramen. I'm using shrimp for this one. I put very, very little water in the pot it's only about a half inch maybe three quarters of an inch deep and that's it you don't need a lot i'm not making a, a full soup i'm making a noodle with a little bit of water in there so for the after putting that on what i'm going to do is break my noodles right so i want i want it to be in sections of four and then where there's the little bend right here which i can feel in my hand I'm just going to crack that open too, so it separates it, so I have a full um, couple of sections. That way when I open it, I already know that it's broken into the sections I need it to be in. But what I'm gonna do first, when I open it, is take out the little season packing it. Pack, packing it, packing it. Taking out the season package. So, this is what I'm doing. I'm using that. Now, what else I'm using is some mussels, some fresh, fresh, delicious mm, mussels. And with my water pretty much boiling, that's a good thing. When you're only using this much water, it goes a lot faster. Some Italian seasoning, that's gonna get it going. So now I'm just gonna take my noodles that are pre-separated. And because they're nice and flat, this one didn't separate perfectly. Um, there we go. Because they're nice and flat, they're gonna fill that little bit, that little bit of water really nicely. And you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Just fills the pot, just like that. Now, there's a couple ways to do it. You can just let it go, right? You can just let it cook and get it through. What I wanna make sure is that all my all my noodles are completely saturated. I want to make sure that they're all wet, right? And I'm going to let it get to a point where it's beginning to change color because what's going to happen is they're going to get a little bit whiter. And so it won't take long. Literally, it'll just take a minute or two. And once I see that color start to change, then what I want to do is I want to take each panel and flip them over. And so I just take my fork, make sure I know which ones I haven't flipped and which ones I have flipped. And that is all of them. So now all of my, uh, all of my little noodle squares have been flipped and they are starting to get soft. I could feel it with my fork. So as they start to get soft, what I want to do is I want to put my fork down and just kind of wiggle, right? Because I want to separate them. But I don't want to break them apart. I want to let the I want to let all these starches and everything cook right out of there. And I just want to wiggle it just a little bit. You know, I realize I should have done this whole thing with a like a French accent. We I should have said first we take our noodle and then we separate the noodle. I should have done something like that because we're doing gourmet, so it would have been fancier. All right, so now that they're nice and soft, what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to pick it up on my fork and I'm just going to give it a little shake, each each one. And what that's going to do is going to just naturally let them separate. It's going to let them feather apart and it's just going to make it easier because I want them to cook a little faster. And the more they're clumped, the less they're going to cook evenly. So once you separate all the noodles, then they cook faster and more even. You're going to have less of a chance to have one soft noodle and one hard noodle. Now you can leave them a little hard if you like them al dente. Um, I do not. I like my noodles nice and soft. <laughs> uh, 
she doesn't like my noodle soft, but I like the noodle soft. So that's where we, we are going right there. So now that I got them nice and mostly separated, now I'll just take my fork and I'm burning my hand and I will just keep doing this until all my noodles are completely separate. Now, all the water that you started with isn't gonna be in the end, right? Obviously, you're gonna lose a little bit of water, which is good, because that means just less I have to drain, but you also don't wanna drain all the water. And I'll show you what I mean in just a, just a few seconds. I'm watching the colors change in my noodles. It's looking very, very nice. I got a piece stuck to the side, there we go. And just like that. So, it's really, I mean, you're thinking about it, it's ramen, so it can't be that difficult, but it's ramen. You can, you can make it difficult if you want to make it right. Hold on. One of the things I almost forgot to mention is that I'm adding some green sweet peas. With the noodles almost fully done, what I'm going to do is then add my peas, because I don't need to overcook my peas, right? So, just going to throw some peas in there, mix it up a little bit, and that way you get some good healthy green vegetable in there to help it out. With my noodles being nice and soft now, I'm going to add my mussels. And I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add the mussels but not all of like the muscle liquid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pull them out and a little bit of liquid's gonna get in there. That's fine because I'm draining most of the liquid anyway. But I mean most of the uh, most of the water so that is that the mussels are in there dump all the excess water nobody wants muscle water just laying around all right now i'm going to give that a little mix and with with mussels when you buy them at the grocery store they're pre-cooked right they're they're already done that's how they get them out of the shell so they're steamed so you don't need them into into the water a lot um you just i'm just making them warm because they're going from the fridge right so that's it. So mussels and peas. And if you know, maybe you like chicken instead of mussels, maybe you like some kind of beef. Um, you can use all kinds of different seafoods. Um, this is just what I, I like to make some with mussels. Make it like a little uh, seafood extravaganza. So what I'm gonna do now is get a little, get a little strainer. I'm not gonna strain the whole thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to turn you guys so you can actually see. I'm going to just strain most of the water, right? So I'm not, I don't even have to pour everything into it. I'm just going to let a lot of that water go until you can't see any. So now I know the water is below the noodles. There's still water there. So it looks like that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off the Turn off the heat. I'm gonna take a little bit of Italian seasoning. Now Italian seasoning, I don't need to put in there in advance, right? Because the heat is gonna soften up all of that seasoning all by itself. I just wanna mix it in there, get the Italian seasoning in while everything's really piping hot. And now what's happening is the noodles are absorbing that last amount of water I left in there. Uh, therefore, I'm not gonna have a soupy mixture, but I'm going to have a, uh, a nice moist mixture and it's not going to be all dry because you know how if you take all the water out it gets really dry and sticky well we don't want that no 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 so now I'm going to take my my shrimp mix I'm going to put it all the way around and don't forget that just when the mix is over doesn't mean it's over take it with your finger and your thumb and just give it one of these so you can get all your mixture out of there all your flavoring and you want to make sure it's empty so now I'm just going to finish mixing and then it's all about eating. And it looks, it smells, it's just whew, really nice. Really nice. You want to make sure that all of your noodles are evenly coated. I know this is ramen, it's not rocket science, but ramen done right. Man, it might taste like it's been some kind of rocket science. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Stepping on things, nothing like a little house construction to break an ankle. All right, here we go. That handle is really hot, so make sure you use a some kind of thing that I'm not using. All right, all right. So now with that little bit of little little bit of liquid, it's keeping my noodles 
separate from each other and it's making it so much sweeter. Speaking of sweeter, there you go. That's how I like to make my ramen. Now, sometimes I'll do chicken or whatever and I'll use broccoli and and whatnot, but this is pretty much the basis of how it goes. It's It's some kind of vegetable, some kind of protein, a little bit of seasoning on top of the seasoning that they give. Mmm. And fantastic. All right. I got a bunch of stuff coming. Got something in from Scab today over at Choir Boys with a Z Cutlery. Hold on now. You heard that. Scab is on his way to 5,000. Let's get over there, give him a sub. The uh, cold steel Chinese war sword machete. He happened to have a spare one, so he sent one to me. So we're gonna get a video of this real quick this week. Um, also, to just today, I went out and I picked up uh, one one Kershaw. It's really nice, and one that I'm gonna leave as a surprise. I will tell you this: my butterfly knife fans. Ooh, we man, if you love USA made butterflies and really, really nice ones, wait until you see what I'm bringing you this week. It's going to be sweet. Plus, I'm getting a knife in from the shredder. Uh, the D Bad Mission 1 is almost done. I really want to eat this stuff, so I'm going to hang up on you guys. You know how it works. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All Day. Until next video.